Hey guys, welcome back, it's Ari from EnterMedSchool.com So we are going to have our 18th lesson of the biology and the IMAT course in general So today we are going to talk about the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus We already know that the genetic material the mRNA goes outside to the cytoplasm encounter a ribosome and the ribosome creates a protein and that the endoplasmic reticulum has two sides the rough one which is stratified with the ribosome and the other side which is smooth without ribosomes but what is the difference between free cytosolic ribosomes and the ribosomes that are attached to the surface of, of the endoplasmic reticulum well the rough endoplasmic reticulum first of all is called rough because it's stratified with ribosomes is the site of the protein synthesis what differentiate the ribosomes of the cytosol from the ribosome of the endoplasmic reticulum the endo rough endoplasmic reticulum most of the time the proteins that are being synthesized on the rough and in the rough endoplasmic reticulum will be destined to be to be secreted outside of the cell or to be integrated as a integral protein membranes like channels proteins etc the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the place when lipids metabolize and being created. The cell membrane itself is being created. It also creates like steroids. It can metabolize carbs. It can detox carbs or other metabolites. So the SCR is more for the metabolism, the creation of lipids, the creation of cell membrane while the rough ER is more for the factory of the proteins that are needed to be secreted outside of the cell. Remember that all proteins are being translated outside in the cytosol. But some proteins will have a signal sequence that will take them eventually to the rough ER. In the rough ER, they will finish, complete the translation, and inside the rough ER, they will go to certain post-translational modification, which will take them to the Golgi, and the Golgi will mark them to the different destination they have to go. The usual pathway of proteins that are being synthesized inside the rough ER is from the rough ER they go to the Golgi and from the Golgi they will go other for example for lysosomes or they will be sent to the outside of the cell they can also hold a specific protein that will eventually diffuse with the cell membrane and will be embedded as a cell membrane protein, an integral protein. So for the IMAT, remember that proteins are always start their translation in the cytosol, but they will eventually, if they have the signal sequence, they will go to the rough ER. They will complete the translation inside the rough ER, where they will go additional post-translational modification. Then they will go to the Golgi, and the Golgi will mark them to the eventual target they have to go to.